From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. It's a major morning as Carvana, the major auto used car retailer, is in big trouble, laying off nearly 10% of its workforce minutes ago, and as stock down nearly 10% today alone. It's breaking news and it shows the problems with this economy. Get some shoes, because Foot Locker's doing really well on the other side. Major confusion as Foot Locker beat in the latest corporate earnings, the third quarter released minutes ago. And this, my friends, is why you have to get these incredible stimulus checks. Very, very confusing economy, and in fact, the Fed governor's confused by it, Wall Street's confused by it, and even I, as a person who's been doing this for a while, looks at the retail numbers coming in from third quarter earnings today. Some companies beating like a Macy's and other companies missing like a Kohl's. What's going on? It's very confusing. You don't want to risk it. You want to get as much stimulus as you can. And over this big broadcast, I'm going to go over that massive stimulus. 300,000 also checks, 300 different checks, FSC checks. They're law. They're staying law. Despite whatever happened in the midterm elections, they're staying law. And they're big money. I'm going to show you how to get them over this big broadcast. Become a member. Go right on this video. Purple Hawk. Purple Power. Casino VIP. Join this channel. Join LA 1, 2, or 3. And get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday. And apply for these great checks. Next up, inflation release stimulus checks. Then lifetime stimulus checks. And of course, the breaking news from the markets. The latest details today is that National Association of Home Builders says housing is crashing even more than the month before. We have the latest details on the big, bad, horrible housing numbers released this morning. It's not good. Then we'll be jumping over the retail numbers for apparel in third quarter. Actually, quite great. How did that happen? How did that happen? Many companies beat and beat dramatically on their numbers. And if you think it's only high end, it's not. It's also low end. All different parts of the marketplace doing particularly well. What's going on? Plus, those Fed governors getting very confused and confusing Wall Street. I'll analyze the latest details with you as well. Because the toast is toast. The butter is buttering. That doesn't lie. The cup the cough is brewing. And we have a big, bold, beautiful morning. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We have a lot of information. We're going to have a lot of stimulus. It all starts right now, live on air on LA1. From the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's big, bold, beautiful. It's mornings, LA8, for November 2022. And good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's morning. It's LA here on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California. If you are just watching me live on Channel 3, you did not hear this data that came in minutes ago. This is breaking news. And thank you for joining me on that brand new show. If you do not know, I now have back-to-back -back live shows in the morning. I have L83 live stimulus, uh, Wall Street live every morning now at 8 a.m. And then I jump over to here to L81 with the old and favorite mornings L8 live on air. While the other two channels, L81 and 2, are airing their shows uh, from overnight. The breaking news that just happened in the last few minutes since that Wall Street Live show ended on more on LA3 is Carvana. The used car retailer signaled big trouble, and that big trouble started today when it announced that it had a drop of earnings. And that drop of earnings signaled a nearly 10% layoff of its workforce minutes ago. The stock is down nearly 10% as well. Those unemployment numbers are exactly what we're worried about in this economy as major twists and turns could happen very abruptly and no one saw this coming. This, my friends, is really why you have to get all this incredible stimulus. In this broadcast, we're going to go over those FSC checks, lifetime stimulus checks, and ISC checks. We have new success stories where viewers are getting nearly another $100,000 this week alone again. 
Do you want $100,000 of stimulus? I bet you do. I'm going to show you how to get it in today's recording. But we first start with the earnings numbers, which I got to tell you, maybe I need a new graphic. Because <laughs> the earnings today are not like they were back in the second quarter. This is a second quarter graphic. At that time, there was just miss after miss after miss, miss on top, miss on bottom. Today, it's a lot of beats. The breaking news just minutes ago is that Foot Locker beat top and bottom, the shoe retailer, doing great numbers. Macy's beat top and bottom. And then other retailers that you would expect to do well, but are very different marketplaces, also did well. William Sonoma beat top and bottom. Now, you would not put a Gap in the same ballpark as a Williams-Sonoma because Gap is more middle stream than Williams-Sonoma, which is higher market. But Gap beating top and bottom. Confusing market? Yes. Let's summarize it very basically. Target missed this week very badly. 50% miss across the board on those third quarter earnings. Walmart beat. Then Macy's beat. Kohl's missed. See how confusing this is? It's very confusing. And so why would you risk this? You need to get as much stimulus as you can. Over this morning's broadcast, we're going to go over this massive stimulus. It's federal stimulus checks, FSC, nearly $300,000 of it. It's beautiful. It's big. And it's been a lot since March. You're not going to hear it on the local news. You're not going to hear it in your broadcast news. This is why LA is number one in America. This is why this is an informational channel that people are turning to morning, noon, and night. They became lost during the month of March, and viewers have gone to them. And today we'll go over another viewer who had a big success story this week. Her name is Barbara, and I'm going to go over her big success story. It's not $100. It's nearly $100,000. We'll go over her big success story and what you need to know on this big money. Then next up, inflation release stimulus checks. Then lifetime stimulus checks. And what about next stimulus checks? I'll analyze the future of next stimulus checks later in this recording in view of those midterm election results that came in this week as well. But first, let's deal with what's going on with this market. The market is up at the moment based upon the perceived perception that maybe the Federal Reserve would change monetary policy. Uh, does this look familiar? <laughs> It should look familiar. They do this every time there's going, they, Wall Street does this every time we're going into another Federal Reserve meeting. They say they're going to change into um, something more fashionable, like lobster shorts. <laughs> the, the check is going to wave back at you at the beach, finally. Uh, we're all going to show up wearing San Francisco hairstyle. None of the above. <laughs> None of the above, not going to happen. And yet Wall Street traded up based upon that belief. I'm not focused so much on them. I'm focused on the data. The data today, of course, is those retail numbers. Lots of beats and surprise the markets. Housing really not surprise the market. Ninth consecutive month of declines in the housing market and data released minutes ago, the slowest pace since December 2011. Existing homes have now dropped 6% in sales compared to the prior month. And the sales are down 29% year to date, meaning the average price of a home has not increased at the rate it was the prior month. It's bad. It gets worse. It continues to get worse. Also, 60% of Americans are now living paycheck to paycheck heading into the holiday season. This is actually higher than we saw in the data a month before. More consumers who have historically managed their budgets with comfortably feeling the financial strain will now impact their spending behavior in the holiday season, meaning that they ran up too much debt and they're really not prepared for that holiday season. That sounds like stimulus stampede in January, doesn't it sound like it? And then the data that came in with the corporate earnings. Foot Locker is up 14% of pre-market trading. Beat on top and bottom. Gap up 5% in pre-market trading. Beat on top and bottom. Williams-Sonoma beat on top and bottom. Revenue and net profit is top and bottom. 8% up the stock. And Ross Department Stores beat on top and bottom. The stock is up 17% today. 17% a day? Yes, up 17% just today. I mean, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. Confusing? If that was not confusing enough, let's go to those Fed governors. Those Fed governors are literally confusing everyone and even me, and I don't usually get confused. Those Fed governors started this week by saying a series of conflicting comments and their conflicting comments just really continued across the board. Where are they confusing us on now, the Fed governors? They're confusing us by saying that they're looking at different data points, some using live data, some using delayed data. They're confusing us by saying that inflation is starting to come down and others saying it hasn't even started to come down. 
And they're confusing us by suggesting that they're changing policies on the horizon, perhaps not currently. Let me give you my analysis of what really is going on based upon the cumulative statement of the Fed governors. Number one, they're not going to ignore the CPI, the PPI, the PCE. Mary Daly made it look like she was just sort of looking at live data. Mm -mm, not going to happen. Not going to happen. There's too many governors. They've never ignored the PCI, the CPI, and the piece, and this, and the personal consumption expenditure index is released on December one. So that's the closest that's coming up in just days from now. They're not going to ignore the data that you and I look at. Number two, they are not changing interest rate spikes. They will do more interest rate spikes, but they're likely to do 50 basis point at the next meeting, not 75. Number three, what's important to understand is that inflation has not come down. And I just almost get irate every time I hear a Fed governor or a Wall Street now saying, maybe prices have come off a little bit. And this is where they're really differentiating, but I don't want to deal with them. I want to go right to the data. Well, here we go. CPI compared to the prior month released just last week up compared to the prior year up a lot nearly 8%. The component parts rent up utilities up uh the the uh other items like uh like groceries up. So is there anything that's actually down in this in inflation in that lay CPI number only used car sales hence Carvana crashing today. Uh, down 2.4%, apparel down 0.7%, and medical down 0.6%. So the entire inflationary report that we released just last week, only three components were down when the whole number was up. Why would a Fed governor even suggest that some of the component pricing are coming down? That's why I'm really not going to stone with some of these Fed governors' comments anymore because the market pricing suggests that disinflation is expected to start in 2023, says uh, St. Louis Pres President James Boulard. I agree with him, as opposed to Waller, who said yesterday that he's not quite sure. Why would you not be quite sure? We have the data. It doesn't show that it's come down. And Mary Daly, who says it's actually come down. Mm-mm has not come down. And this, my friends, is why you have to get this big stimulus. You can't wait on this. It's a very confusing market. And let's go over those three categories of stimulus right now. There are three of them, and they're for you. What are you doing? You get this money right this morning. We have Federal Stimulus Checks, FSC, for Black Friday, for Thanksgiving, big money, nearly $300,000, 300 checks. I'll show you how to get them over this big broadcast. Then Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks, ISC. They are wonderful. Then Lifetime Stimulus Checks, also deliciousness. Then in the second half of this video, we'll address the analysis of what's happening with next stimulus. It's big, it's bold, and it's based upon the midterm election results. And with that, let me turn to a success story. Success stories are very important because those success stories inspire you. And when you get inspired, you go get some stimulus yourself as well. Kimberly Romano. This is this week, folks. This is not January. This is not February. This is not March. This is November success stories on this channel days ago. The message from Kimberly Romano was came in uh, 24 hours ago. Kimberly Romano says, I want to share with all the Purple Hawks that I applied for Check B in March, and in August I got approved for 18 months of HOA fees of 360 and 18 months of utilities and past due property taxes of 4000 Plus, I recently applied for the Weatherizer grant, and I got approved for that just days ago. Thank you, LA. I love your program. Okay, hold up. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of success. And that is a very, very typical success story on this channel. Again, this is this week. Let's go over how much money she got there. So she got check A, which is the weather raising grant. That's $6,500 to $12,000. Insane. So she just got that just days ago. Number two, on top of that $6,000 to $12,000, she got $4,000 of her property tax. Okay, we're almost at $20,000. Then she got 18 months of five checks a month. She got her HOA fees of 360 and her utilities. How much money do you think that would be? It's really hard to tell. But if we run the numbers, let's say her utilities and her HOA combined is 2000 a month. 18 times 2, uh, 20 times 2, uh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> 20 times 2 is $40,000. I mean, that's a lot of money. So 40,000 plus four is 44,000 plus weatherizing, 6,000 uh, 
she's clearly over 50,000. She's clearly over 50,000. She may be upwards of 100,000. It's really hard to tell. Uh, and Kimberly, if you're watching me, send me a private message or I may send you a private message because I want to run the numbers. That's this week. What are you doing? Put down that coffee. <clears throat> Put down that coffee. Start buying for some stimulus right now. People are getting $50,000 this week. What did you gotten? You become a member. You go right on this video, join the channel, join LA1, LA2, or LA3 and get those big monies. Margaret Owens, longtime triple member to all three channels. She is now looking at another and another, because she's already gotten stimulus on this channel, another six more months of LG and E utilities. She also got $600 of utilities uh, last week for water. Um, and the other one was for LG and E. Um, wow, just incredible success stories. What are you watching? You're watching LA Light, America's number one most watched financial news channel in America for this subject matter. Number three overall for all financial news. LA, which launched in 2020, now has three channels LA One, LA Two, and LA Three. With live tape, short and 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 uh, and long form programs airing on all three channels. LA3 now features Stimulus Live, live on air at 7 at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time daily. We had a lot of fun today in episode two that aired this morning. LA2, did I say LA3? Yes, LA2 has uh, Stimulus Live, which airs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. On LA1, we have LA Live that airs 24-7. And then on LA1 is all those great shows that you always became a fan of, always playing around the clock, mornings, afternoons, evenings, and overnights. Coming to LA2 is more humor programming. It relaunched last night, and the humor programming picks up on LA2 around 7 o'clock at night in the evenings with Street to Late, Sirloin, and Blaine 66. And on LA3, you're going to get some great more stock programming and also some cooking shows. A lot of programming, a lot of deliciousness is all on this incredible family. So join this channel and get these incredible sums of money. Now let's go into the FSC checks to understand where they came from, what they are, and how they work. These federal stimulus checks, which are the big checks, are nearly $300,000, 300 different checks. Can you imagine this graphic? I had this graphic saved, and of course, it's a wintry graphic. I didn't air it all summer long, and I'm like, and now I'm like, okay, it's time to air the graphic. <laughs> Let's air some snow and then cut back to the beach. <laughs> Sorry, you know, we don't have snow in Santa Monica. <laughs> Let's get to those incredible FSC checks right now. What are they? How do they work? Where do they come from? First came the ones from Joe Biden, $300,000 of it, $100,000 from Joe Biden. He passed these FSC checks by executive action in the month of March, three different checks, A, B, and C, and you qualify. Done by executive action of Joe Biden, then viewers have been getting them ever since, and they are beautiful. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get them. How do you get them? You go on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Get that newsletter delivered from me to you. Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. And bounce and get these big checks for everyone, including SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rail benefits. Then came along Congress. And Congress passed more checks, E through K, bringing us to hundreds of checks. You go get them. They're absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you all each of these checks in just a second. Stay the big second half. Then I found more checks for you. I put them all in the LA Light newsletter. Delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. That's bringing us to hundreds of checks past $300,000, 300 different checks. And we're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cout, Sino, VIP. Get these huge checks across the board and get them right away. With that, we go into the continuation of this week because, boy, is it a confusing week or is it me? I find it very confusing. Let me tell you why it's so confusing. Number one, we thought that the third quarter corporate earnings were going to be poor, weak, bad, and they're actually quite good. We thought apparel and retail, general retail, was going to be bad numbers because we thought everyone was going to have all that money spent on travel and leisure. And yet they're actually quite promisingly good numbers, really confusing. So where are they getting all this money from and why do they not have discretionary spending at Target, but they do have discretionary spending at Macy's? 
really confusing and we don't actually have the answers for it. When you jump over to uh, the Federal Reserve governors, they're actually very confusing and their analysis is more analysis than data. So that's why I want you to discount their comments. When they talk about inflation up, inflation down, don't rely upon them to say, to say that. Look at the data. Look at the data. We can look at inflationary data as much as they can. So if they say it's down, they say it's it's down when it's really up. Go with the data. Number two, when they talk forward looking, the forward looking, they really are still only looking out thirty days from now. So that thirty days from now, you know, it's going to be fifty basis point or seventy five, more likely fifty, <laughs> at that next FOMC meeting. Other than that, it is a very very confusing economy. And when it's confusing, you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do when the economy is confusing. You got to get as much stimulus as you can. And let's do that right now. The first check is $6,500. It is the weatherizing grant. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. $6,500 to $12,000. This is the check that Barbara got. Check that Spelly got. How do you get it? You go on this video, join the channel, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Welcome to the nearly 100 new members joining one of these three channels every 48 hours. Have you become a member? What are you waiting for? Don't you want thousands of dollars? Become a member. Get this incredible check A. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. Now, in the case of check B, you already seen Barbara's success story of 18 months. But wait a second. Frank Mancuso also got 18 months. Also, a third viewer got 18 months. 18 months of her rent and her four utilities per month. So the average view of this channel is now getting 18 months of check B and five checks a month. That is 80 plus checks, folks. That is not $5,000. That's not even $10,000. That's tens of thousands of dollars. Why would you wait to become a member? It's only a few dollars to become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. Go down to where it says check B and apply right away. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get some check C. Check C, we've been getting on this channel for two years. It got expanded by Joseph Biden. And the success stories of check C are great. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. In the membership news, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Go get some check C. Do you want $15,000 of utilities? Well, that's what Mark's brother-in-law got. Go get some check C. Become a member. Snap. Well, look at that. Incredible. Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Combinations checks, an easy one from 23000 to 50000 Mark went from 32000 to fifty to 166000 after he's at fifty. And Lorraine, she was at one hundred five. She went to one fifty five. The success stories continue left and right. Ling Glenn got 14 months of utilities. Another viewer, the same thing. Two viewers, 12 months of, of rent. Dragon, triple member to all three channels, longtime community volunteer page member. She got 170000 Success is all happening left and right. And people always wonder, wow, yes, it can be you. It can absolutely be you. You go around this video, become a member, join any of those channels, one, two, or three, LA one, two, or three. Then get that membership newsletter delivered from all three channels from me to you. Go right in and apply for each of these incredible checks. And then stay the big second half because we we're only at the third check. <laughs> we got a lot more checks coming up. Next up is the continuation of those FSC checks, ISC checks, and LSC checks, plus the lays on NSC checks. But what I also want to go over with you is don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to all three channels because there's a lot of news now coming to three channels. You don't want to miss the brand new shows launching. And hit those bells to the front of all three channels. It's totally free to do all this. Hit those bells so they have your notifications all set to all on. So you don't miss a show when it launches across the board. And with that, let's go back into what we're looking at in this data today and why that data is so confusing and so data dependent. What we're looking at today is retail really surprising us. And we have really not seen anything like this in this year. We generally had marketplace events where certain parts of the industries were doing the same, certain entire industries were doing the same. But when we have two market players in the same industry in the same part of the industry doing completely different results, we're confused. For example, we all know that travel and leisure is doing well. 
we all know that technology has been very volatile. But when you look at retail, and we presume that it was all going to be bad, and then one comes in good, then you presume that's one good and all the rest are bad. And then suddenly when very differing retail companies, one high end, one lower end, doing both great numbers, then you get confused. And you say, is that the new industry? Until you see their competitors come in and miss. Wow, that is confusing. Ultimately, we'll be analyzing more about this today on Afternoons at L8 at 3 o'clock. It's a brand new show. And evenings at L8 tonight in prime time at 5 o'clock. Meantime, in the live show on L8 One, I'll be jumping in with you and interacting with you about all this details. But coming up in the big second half of this show, I'm going to continue with more FSCs, ISCs, lifetime stimulus, and NSCs. And I'll give you my commentary of what the future is for stimulus as well. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started because the toast is toasted. The butter is butter and the coffee is brewing. It's a big, bold, beautiful morning, and we have a lot more stimulus to go over after the commercial break. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a big, bold, beautiful morning of mornings in LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California, where it's supposed to heat up. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's supposed to be in the 70s. Are they crazy? Really? Is it going to be another hot Thanksgiving here in Southern California? Who knows? Thank you for joining me on a big, bold, beautiful morning of mornings in LA. What are you watching? You're watching LA 1 or LA 2 or LA 3, all part of this incredible brand new broadcasting family with three channels live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Covering everything about your money, your stimulus, your economy, and your financial freedom. It's all here, and it's all educational, and thank you for joining me on today's broadcast. As we continue the big second half, we pick up with those FSC checks, which we left off at check E through K, passed by Congress, and they're absolutely wonderful stimulus checks. They are great, and they are law, and they will stay law, despite what happened in the midterm elections. Check E, $7,500. Wow. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Great. Check G, 30% off. Check H, a two thousand dollar stimulus check check i eight thousand dollar stimulus check check j eight thousand dollar stimulus check and check k a fourteen thousand dollar stimulus check then we get to l hundred thousand dollars on average of loan interest free money m four thousand dollars of grant money stimulus n the one that made history on this channel when john maloof got stimulus n during this broadcast and then was watching me with the stimulus he got <laughs> He got the tablet. Stimulus and his tablet, computer or laptop. And he said, I was watch he said, I'm watching you uh, on the tablet. <laughs> I'm watching you. Uh, and that inspired countless viewers. Inspired Spelly, inspired Lynn Glenn, and even on mornings stimulus live on LA3 just minutes ago, less than an hour ago, Dragon was in the live chat uh, interacting with Anne, and everyone was talking about this tablet, because it is really easy to get. Why would you not become a member? Stimulus O, which is great, 
it is zero down payment, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage, and then stimulus P and Q. P is 3% down, and Q is $8,000 of closing costs. The largest of these FSC checks, these Black Friday uh, Thanksgiving stimulus checks, $100,000. Smallest, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday, had $45,000 by Wednesday. By Friday, $80,000. He applied at 15 places, half rejected, half approved. The next week, he helped his mom get 50, his dad 50, and then his neighbors a quarter of a million dollars, 20 of them over the next few weeks. What are the checks for? The rent, the mortgage, the utilities, the car, the home repairs, the home appliances, the internet, the tablet and computer and more. It's all really incredible. These are your FSE checks from the federal government in every U.S. state. Next up is inflation really similar checks. These are from your states and they differ state by state. Average about $1,000. Most U.S. states, how do you learn about them? You become a member. Go down the newsletter, check D, click the link, and it opens up a brand new page. It lists the states, the amount of the check, and the website to track the check. And then a lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. One of Jay Powell's co-governors, uh, co her name is Mary Daly, confused a lot of us yesterday when she seemed to suggest that maybe they would be done with these interest rate spikes in 2023. Uh, not happening. Really, we're basically going to have inflation next year and the year after that. Why is that important for your benefits? That means two more raises, a total of four raises on top of each other. 5.9% raise last year, 8.7% raise next year, and then two more raises on top of that. Wow. After those four years of raises, you're going to have more checks in your hand than your cost of living. Why? Because the cost of living inflation is going to come down each year and be at the lowest cost of living by the fourth year. Cheaper to live by fourth year and the most checks in your wallet every month by the fourth year. That is insanely great news. Which then brings us to next stimulus. Next stimulus, which concerns what would happen for stimulus in 2023 and 2024, based upon the balance of power in the Senate and the House as of today, let me tell you what's going on. First, I'm so excited that you're part of this incredible family, the Purple Power community. I'm so excited you're a member. Why? Because you've been pouncing and getting all this big stimulus of FSCs since March of 2022. You didn't wait, and you didn't think about it, and you didn't just sit around and put your feet up and wait for a donut. The donut guys and gals of the world are going to be in big, big, big trouble early January. Why? Because they thought that someone was going to just give them a wad of cash for doing much of nothing. They thought that they could sit back and watch an old video from two years ago and repeat lines as though it's the current status quo. Like, when are we going to have another recon stimulus check? There's not going to be another reconciliation because we do not have the same political party in control of both the House and the Senate. When will there be another CR for stimulus? There's not going to be another CR for stimulus because the CR, continuing resolution, coming up in a few weeks, they don't need to put a stimulus check in there. Why? Because the Democrats are likely to win that Georgia Senate seat at this point because Herschel Walker is really not performing well. Raphael Warnock is likely to take the win and the Democrats have enough seats in the Senate already, that it's really not much of a concern. So then the question is, would there be brand new stimulus in 2023? Let me analyze that with you right now. I have to slow it down because this could be confusing for some of you. First, will there be more FSCs? Yes. Federal stimulus checks, the 300 different checks, the $300,000, there's always going to be more FSCs, and I'm always going to have them for you. I'm always going to find them for you. These don't flow from Congress, necessarily. They don't flow always from the present. They flow from federal agencies, and they do what they do because they have establishment agreements that they can do what they want to do. Those FSCs, I'm always going to find you more FSCs, and the FSCs we currently have are state law. They're not going to get revoked. Why? because the current new Congress will be the following. Republican-led House, Democrat-led Senate. Because it's a two-party system, that means that neither party will be able to revoke, cancel, eliminate the FSC law of those checks. That's great news for you. So then the question is, will they pass new stimulus on top of, in addition to, the FSCs, the ISCs, and the LSCs? Hard to say. 
why. Very different approaches to how they do stimulus. The Republicans would likely do a business type stimulus. EIDL grants, EIDL loans, PPP are very much Republican type stimulus. They could absolutely do it again. The problem is the Senate may not approve of it. Let's go over to the Democrats. The Democrats would love dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility of Medicare. In the Senate, led by the Democrats, the House is absolutely not going to do it with the Republic Republicans. So very different priorities. And where's the common ground? I don't see the common ground. <laughs> I don't see one particular stimulus item that both political parties can really agree upon. And that's why you don't want to sit back and think about the horizon. Don't just think about the donut. Don't just think about keeping your feet up and doing much of nothing. Those people are going to be in big trouble come January. There's going to be a stimulus stampede, as we learned this morning with the layoff of Car uh, Carvana. Nearly 10% of his workforce just minutes ago. Massive layoffs. Big problems with the economy getting to get worse. Housing market getting to get worse. And those people that sat around and did nothing and are potentially still sitting around and doing nothing, not becoming a member, not applying for stimulus, they're going to be a big, 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 big trouble come January because they're sitting around their mentality to the whole situation is going to leave them behind the eight ball. And by that point, they will not have prepared for what's on the horizon. That's not you. But that's why, if you just found this channel, you need to become a member. The stimulus is available right now. FSC is law now. It's paying out now. We have the Kimberleys of the world that are getting forty, fifty thousand dollars this week. Go get the money right now. It's going to stay law. It's not going to be revoked. So I'm going to continue to record about the FSCs, and I'm going to find more FSCs. But the other type of things that people think about or wonder about from previous years. That's previous years. It's old news. This is current news. This is live news. This is breaking news. This is today. This is what's happening today. That's why you got to watch every broadcast. Let's go back into the breaking news that we're dealing with right now. So later today, we're going to see more of the reaction to these Fed governor's comments because Wall Street was trading up 150 points earlier today based upon the belief that Federal Reserve may change policy, uh, not happening. But those Fed governors were really confusing us left and right. We're also going to see if we're going to get blindsided by more corporate layoffs. I got to tell you, I think that so far today, the major story that is leading in my mind is not the target, is not the Federal Reserve, is not the labor numbers. It is really the Carvana story. I think the Carvana story is one of those sort of jugular stories that we're going to start to see more of. You wake up one morning and suddenly 10% of a workforce of a major company is gone. Yeah, shocking. You didn't hear, you'd think it was going to happen the day before, and it happens. I think you're going to hear more of those issues happening left and right. It will happen with companies that are profitable. It will happen with companies that beat on top and bottom. And it will also happen with companies that have not reported corporate earnings. Remember what Kohl's did yesterday. It revoked, pulled back year-end guidance. So they had already given guidance on what they think the whole year is going to be, and then they pulled it back saying, you know what, we are – uh, not going to use that guidance anymore because it's no longer true. It's no longer applicable. The macroeconomic environment of this economy has changed so dramatically. I can't keep that that predictions out there for you. Walmart. Walmart's uh, beat on top and bottom. But Target missed. And Target didn't just miss for the prior quarter. Target also told us that this month, right now, they see big problems getting people into the stores. Can you imagine? We all know, everyone knows that retail is very dependent upon holiday sales. We all know this. And Target says right now they're having problems getting people to the stores for those holiday purchases in November. It's not good. It's no bueno. And imagine everything bad that can come from that. Whenever you hear there is a lack of demand for the consumer, a lack of sales, the immediate reaction is, will there be layoffs? Will there be store closures? Will there be um, hiring freezes? What will happen next? It's that type of news that I really jump right at when I see, and I think of all the news stories so far yet today, it's the Carvana story. Used car sales, we understood, was going to fall. In fact, who was the first to tell you this? I was. Earlier this year, I told you, 
no one can afford a car on a car loan because the interest rates are now through the roof because of Jay Powell. And I said, car loan dependent businesses like new and used car sales are going to have big problems. The big manufacturers, auto manufacturers, are going to have big problems because have cars on the lots because no one's going to be afford that car loan anymore. And here today, you see the impact of it right today with Carvana, with that massive layoff, nearly 10% of its workforce, the stock near down 10% right today as well. It's a lot going on, and I'll see you next on 11 a.m. with Holidays LA. Holidays LA will jump in back in more stronger form in the next day or two. And then at 3 o'clock, a brand new Afternoons LA, Evenings LA, also brand new as well at 5 o'clock. And jump over to LA 2 and LA 1, all airing live throughout the day with shows across the board. Don't forget humor programming coming to LA too, starting at seven o'clock tonight as well. Sir Lauren Javita Late and Blaine 66 back on at about seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time tonight across the board. From the shores of San Marco, California, God bless. Thank you for joining me on a live broadcast of Mornings LA. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on pouncing, keep on doing what's best, becoming a member, and stay with LA for more. <laughs>